But in general, it's really nice to create short, snappy sounds. Samplers are a great tool to create new sound effects, but I don't really see them used too often, at least on YouTube, for sound design. And that's why I wanted to make a quick video on a few things that you can do with them. And I will be using Ableton's stock sampler, but you can use any sampler you want. And the industry standard for this is probably still a contact, so if you have access to contact, you might want to use that one. So let's just drag sampler on a MIDI track. And the basic idea is that we're gonna use multiple samples in here, so we can play them at the same time, and usually this yields some interesting results. So let's just drag some raw samples in there. I'm gonna be using these samples at the beginning and just drag them all in here. In the Ableton sampler, you have to click on the zone section here, and now you can actually map the individual samples to certain keys or key ranges. And we are gonna be mapping them, just each sample to one note, essentially, because we don't really wanna make use of the sampler in the sense that we wanna pitch them while we are playing them. We just wanna be able to play all the samples at the same time or, or a few of them at the same time with our keyboard. So I'm just gonna start with a C3 and then I'm just gonna map these all if we play a C3 now, now then we play the first sample. I'm actually going to do some quick processing on this because these samples are really raw, so I'm just going to increase the volume mainly and compress them a bit. So now we can just play all of these samples at the same time, or just a few of them, like this. difficult to do if you're not using a sample because you would have to put them on individual audio tracks and then switch the samples out or mute tracks or solo tracks and it's very easy to use different starting positions for these samples just do something like this and then another sample is played a bit later so you have a bit of delay between the samples these are already some very interesting mechanical sounds and it's very easy just to create a lot of different ones very quickly with these. Another interesting thing that I like to do with this sampler is just to, in Ableton's case, just group this and use one of the macronobs here for the pitch. So I'm just going to map the transpose to one of the macronobs and now we can just pitch all the samples up or down at the same time. For a different example, try the same thing with uh, a bit more processed samples. Again, just sampler, and now we are gonna input a few different samples. A few other layers. A few punchy ones. And then also a few boom samples. So now we have a few more than before. And now let's just do the same thing. And now just like before, we can play them. Quickly gonna copy the processing. Actually also copy the MIDI down here. Input a few more notes. So now this sounds like this. We can in Ableton also make use of the random MIDI effect here. And depending on our settings, this is gonna play different MIDI notes. So if you put this at a 50% chance, then this means that there's a 50% chance that it's gonna be playing the MIDI notes that we have selected here, or a 50% chance that it's gonna be playing different MIDI notes. So let's just leave this at 50% now. And choices is essentially just the range. This can be set to up to two octaves, but we don't really have that many samples. So depending on the amount of samples you put in there, you have to change the settings or you will get a lot of empty notes played essentially. But now by doing this, we can just randomly create variations with the samples that we have in there. And of course you can also make use of all the functions within sampler, so you can use the filter. Or the shaper here is pretty nice as well. You can also use the pitch envelope. 
And something that I like a lot is using the master envelope here to create, in this case, really short hits. But in general, it's really nice to create short, snappy sounds. For example, if you wanted to just record a few variations, you could just do something like this. Duplicate this a few times and then you can just record this. And of course you can also just change to the lace of the note that you have here or you can just use different notes. And if you don't have access to something like the randomize effect, uh, you can just draw in different mini notes for each of these and then you're going to get different variations as well. So essentially this allows you to create new sounds from your existing sounds very easily without having to manually layer them with audio tracks and it makes a lot of your sounds actually playable like the more mechanical sound that we tried first and it's a very good method to just create happy accidents by just throwing different samples in there and then just see if maybe a few interesting combinations come out of it.